Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So PrestaShop 1.7 beta came out last week and I would like to go through some of the changes that happened since the early alpha version we saw already a few months ago. Well, um, the front office first. It's basically unaltered as you can see compared to uh, the alpha version. It has been cleaned up a bit, in fact, as you can see, well, from the top bar, for example. But we do not have a cart drop down, sadly. So let me add a product to the cart. So add to cart, continue shopping, and you can see no drop down. So that's, that's pretty sad. Personally, I also uh, don't like the extremely simple design of the top menu and we get a click to toggle the drop down you can see there is no image um, nothing special going on here so I'm not a big fan of it I think the design has been simplified a bit too much so I hope for a better makeup by the time the final version comes out so let's actually have a look at a category so category pages were a bit messy but are a lot clearer now with um, a fixed category image that doesn't span the whole width of the box. It's just this one here. And the good news is we can now set a different one for uh, the category thumb and main. So we can have two. That's great or would be great if uh, subcategories showed up since uh, you can see did not show up for now so we have uh, two subcategories here but nothing is showing up so I cannot tell if that um, could be working or not also there is an option in the back office for a menu thumb which I guess would uh, end up here in the menu or even here who knows um, I tried that but again it doesn't work for now so hopefully they will implement this menu image by the time the complete version is out the sidebar modules are also cleaner but um, right now we cannot change the sidebar presence or position there are to be honest some options in the back office but if you switch to another layout here in the category uh, nothing is gonna happen or actually something happens but not not good since everything will be messed up you cannot switch to the right column or two columns in the category page it kind of works in the product page but uh, not as good as it should so let me uh, click on a product say the blouse the template here still has the very small information box which personally I do not like and in any case apart from the design which is mostly unaltered what really really bugs me is that we have a new URL structure um, well have a look here 2-7-blouse.html um, it's not simply reading one ID now but two so one is the product ID dash the combination ID and now forgive me if I say this but what the heck this goes the opposite direction as it should since what we all want are URLs without IDs, not with more. So press the shop team, please think about it. And you can also see how it changes if I click on another, you can see 2-8 now, um, attribute in the list. So this is really sad. Then the checkout, this is another uh, disappointment because it seems they really dropped the Ajax OPC in favor of a four or better to say five with the card uh, steps checkout. The design is uh, actually clean and they got rid of, as you can see, distracting elements during the checkout, but still I do not like at all the lack of Ajax as it's a step, it's a step backwards compared to PrestaShop 1.6 and I also fear PrestaShop is simply trying to sell us a feature we had already by making it premium. And this is not the way to go, in my opinion, absolutely. Uh, also, speaking of removed features, uh, so far the advanced stock management has been removed as well. 
but the team guys said it will be back in the final release, so we all hope for that. Now, for the back office. Um, tabs have been rearranged and we will see them in a second. Let's check um, products first. So, catalog products. This page also has received a cleanup, so I'll try to edit one, the blouse. I don't know why I always choose the blouse, but I do. So the first thing uh, you will notice if you click on these tab is that uh, they got rid of those annoying ads. So that's, that's good, press the shop. Now as I mentioned in the previous video, we will have a completely new, as you can see, interface here. So we necessarily need to get used to it. Um, some tabs will also change depending on the type of product, which we can choose from the top here. Maybe it's not uh, so evident because um, at first I thought it would have been here where the combinations options are, but it's up here. So you can choose a standard product, pack or virtual, and you can see, uh, well, I will not do it now, but um, it's gonna, cause it's gonna erase my combinations. But if I were to change to pack or virtual, these tabs would have changed, okay? One thing that I would really like to see though is the possibility, if I click on virtual, you can see we get a warning. It's a possibility to have um, combinations with virtual products since everyone asks for it. So hopefully, uh, since this is not possible yet, hopefully we will get it in one of the next releases or maybe why not in the, in the um, final one. Um, as for the rest, we have all of the options we had before, uh, before of course. So uh, we have uh, category associations, um, price options, we have them here and here as well as the alpha. Um, the combinations, as I said, shipping options, SEO as always. Then back to the first page in basic settings, we have features, brands, which are basically manufacturers. We have suppliers in, I think it's shipping or options, where was it, or combinations. No, I got lost too. So, suppliers in options. Well, uh, options is still a bit messy in the sense that holds um, unrelated things. So, suppliers, uh, customization, conditions and references. So, um, hopefully they will make another tab to stick uh, to stack these um, a bit better together. The combinations generator has been enhanced a little since we also now have a series of helper boxes here on the sides to choose from. Okay, so it's pretty easy to, to use and we can simply generate, generate a combination like this, all right? So really, really easy, pretty good. So let's move out to the menu. Attributes and features have been combined in a single page, as you can see, as well as uh, brands and suppliers. So again, manufacturers and suppliers. Modules. Uninstalled modules are now available in the selection tab, the first one. Although I admit it's, apart from being slow, it's a bit difficult to scrub through. Um, the filter we have here doesn't work well for now unless you use the module's exact name because it works with tags. So if I search by category and then hit enter, it's going to create three tags, search by category. So um, if my module's name search by category, it might not find it as first option, which is really sad as it should. Also, speaking of modules, I only tested a couple of mine and I can tell that we will need a different hook for payment modules. So the one named payment is now called payment options and also needs a new separate system to work. So uh, account for that from now on. Then in terms of back office UI, let's try to see where some of the previous tabs have been relocated. Since we're talking about modules, where can we set positions? Well, the menu is now under design, which is maybe a bit confusing at the beginning. We also have, as you can see, a new entry here, 
named Link Widget, which is apparently some kind of link block, I would say. And right now it's displaying the extra information of the footer. So we have prex uh, and information. And if I go back, you can see it's here, prex information, these blocks here, okay? Localization options are under international, localization, together with location, which holds countries, states, and zones. Then the employees tab is under advanced parameters, team, SEO and URLs is located under shop parameters, traffic, uh, well, I'm just trying to go through the the ones that might confuse a current PrestaShop user. Then shopping carts has finally moved to orders, where it should have belonged since the beginning. Attachments has been renamed to files, and cart rules are now called discounts, which is, I think, easier to understand. Well, I think this is most of the juice that came with this beta release of PrestaShop 1.7. We do not have an official release date yet for the final version, but I expect um, it to happen before summer ends, well, hopefully. So this is everything for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.